Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rise of the Podcast. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Janae. And I'm Brownie. And today, we're playing a game, a little sibling rivalry game, rivalry game, maybe. I am so excited for this. This was completely created and thought up by Chris. Okay. Tailored to you. Oh, So this was made awesome. especially for you. Let's go. So, Janae, <laughs> we are playing Welcome to Garfield or Garfield. In this game, you must determine whether a fact is about Garfield the Cat, a popular comic and cartoon character, nice. or James A. Garfield, former president of the United States. Ooh. If you get seven more answers correct, seven, seven or more, more. Yeah. you win the contents of the mystery envelope. Oh my if you gosh. get fewer than seven, oh, I get so the envelope, sad. and okay. you will live in shame and dishonor, forever immortalized on the internet. Of course. <laughs> Do you understand the rules? Would it be any other way? <laughs> I understand the rules. All right, I'm here we go. Play. Are we ready? We're going to begin. Yes. Here we go. Okay. All right. The first question is, this Garfield is from Muncie, Indiana. Indiana. Is that... Garfield the cat. Garfield the cat? Not the prez. Wow. All right, here we go. And the final answer is... Garfield the cat. Yeah. Janae, you got the first one right. That, well, so how'd you know that now? I know a lot. He was born June 19th, 1978, out behind Mama Leone's Pizza and Pasta Kitchen. Wow. Oh, All yeah. right. I might not have done enough research. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jim Davis set the Garfield comic in the hometown of his hometown of Muncie, Indiana. Davis's family farm was home to 25 cats, many of them which were used as a basis for Garfield. That's right. Yeah. All right, so she's got one all right. She's got the first okay. one right. All right. fun facts that associate all of them. You may know them already, though. That's awesome. This Garfield is left-handed. Oh. Is that Garfield the president or Garfield the cat? Garfield the president. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. That's correct. All right, James A. Garfield was the first left-handed president. He was also the first ambidextrous president. Nice. It is said you could ask him a question in English, and he could simultaneously write the answer in Greek with one hand and Latin in the other. Ooh. Pretty impressive. That, I would have loved to have seen that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And we'll put uh, the citation for that in the link below. Yep. All right, here we go. Are you ready for yeah. the next one? Okay. So, Janae, you're two for two. That's a very good start. That is a very good start. Bill Murray has portrayed this That's Garfield. Murray. <clears throat> Bill Murray has portrayed this Garfield on the big screen. Is that Garfield the president or Garfield the cat? Garfield the cat. All yes. right, that is correct. Yeah. Wow, Jenna, you're crushing it. May I give you another fun fact? Yes. yes. Since we're talking about movies and TV. So um, the voice of Garfield is actually... Lorenzo Music. The, the Car Rhoda, um, Carlton, your doorman. Oh. On Rhoda. That's, <laughs> that's, where, that's awesome. Where, yeah, so... It's also a voice that he did. I've always just, I love the name Lorenzo Music. I do too. I have He's from Minnesota. I have his autograph. What? Yeah. I didn't yeah, know Lorenzo Music's a Minnesotan, or yeah. was. Yeah, he was. so yeah. cool. I have his autograph. That's dope. He's since That's passed super away. cool, yes. Yeah. So the fun fact about Bill Murray, and I knew no, I do know it's Bill Murray, but it's like you're trying to read and, you know. Yeah. All right, yes, Bill Murray okay. agreed to appear in the Garfield film without reading the script because he thought he would be working with Joel Cohen of the Cohen Brothers um, fame, not Joel Cohen, C-O-H-E-N, of Cheaper by the Dozen and Daddy. Daddy Day Camp fame. So he was uh, he was confused over which Cohen, Cohen oh, he was wrote, okay. or, or wrote and directed the film. Okay. So he thought he was working on like an art film, not a Garfield. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my goodness. Okay. So he, he signed up to do it. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Here we go. This Garfield is known as Gustav in Sweden. Garfield the president or Garfield the cat? Garfield the president. Garfield the president is incorrect. <gasps> Shoot. Garfield the cat is known as Garfield in all but three countries. Sweden, Norway, and Finland. But they translated Garfield to Gustav? Yes. Yes. In, in those three countries, he is Gustav. Shoot. Everywhere else, he is known as Garfield the cat. There was like a, wasn't there like a famous uh, illustrator, um, or not illustrator, um, Gustav Dore? He did like Dante's Inferno. Wow. I think. I don't that, know. Anyway. That's beyond my, <laughs> my Janae's throwing down sweet I, I, facts. So okay. I, did, I was so far disassociated with Garfield over there. Janae that. was going for 10, but I now was, she's uh, still got plenty of time to come back. All okay, right, here we go. Right. Question five. This Garfield is a prolific juggler. President Garfield or Garfield the cat? I'm going to go with president. All right. That is correct. That's James A. Garfield would juggle bowling pin-shaped clubs as a way to stay in shape and build muscles. Yes. 
Garfield the cat preferred to lounge around all day. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and right. eat lasagna and kick Nermal to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> so Janae, you've gotten four correct so okay, far okay. and only one wrong. So you're <laughs> right. you're you're looking good to win the mystery envelope. All right, cool. I hope I get it. All, all right. right. Steven Spielberg and Stephen King are known fans of this Garfield. Garfield the president or Garfield the cat. Stephen King and Steven Spielberg are both fans of this Garfield. Those are two individuals that really could be a fan of James A. Garfield or Garfield the cat. I'm going to go with the cat, though, because he brings light into the situation, especially for Stephen King, poor man. <laughs> he's from, and he's, he's from Maine. Like, he li like, I think he lives, like, not far from where we are. Crazy. <laughs> so is that your final answer? Yeah. All right. That is correct. Yes! Janae, that is correct. Okay. Both Spielberg and King have reportedly requested strips from Jim Davis, to oh. which he happily obliged. Yes, see? So you are five, five correct. So you okay. only need to get two more correct. All right. If you get half of, the re half of the remaining correct, All right. you win. Let's you go. win Let's the go. mystery envelope. All right, All right here cool. we go. I gotta get that envelope. This Garfield received enough votes to win a Senate seat, but never served. <laughs> President Garfield or Garfield the cat? My friend, if that's Garfield the cat, <laughs> we are in a we better place in than having Trump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> can we go back? No. no. <laughs> so it's the president. So this Garfield received enough votes to win a Senate seat but never served. Never served. Yeah, it's James A. Garfield. President Garfield is correct. Janae, one more, and you are guaranteed that mystery envelope. Yes! One more. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully there's one that can stump you coming up here. They get a All little right. bit harder as we go, so. Man. This Garfield has an uncle named Amos. Is that President Garfield or Garfield the cat? President Garfield. Is that your final answer? They didn't talk much about his uncle in the comic strip, and then they did U.S. Acres, the cartoon on the farm. I don't remember Amos. So you were going to go with President Garfield? Yeah. That's correct. Oh. Janae, you have, at this point, you have officially won yes. the mystery envelope, and you will not be immortalized on no. it for all eternity on the internet in shame. I'm so excited. So you can be proud of your Garfield knowledge, but we will go and answer these last two questions. Yes, please. A, a please. victory lap, maybe. Please, yeah. All right. There is a restaurant in Toronto, Canada, named after this Garfield. Is that President Garfield or Garfield the Cat? I'm going to say Garfield the Cat. Even though I've never heard of it, I think a restaurant would be more like, "What are you going to serve? Like, a, you know, like old cheesecake? Like, <laughs> why? Is he an old president? Seem, like, it just doesn't yeah. seem, old, you know, the history. I mean, all yeah, right, anyway. all right. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. That is correct. <sighs> okay. Garfield the cat does have. It is called Garfield Eats. Is the first North American officially licensed restaurant. Exactly. That's cool. I know. So that's something that I didn't really know about, but I'll have to check into it. Imagine the menu items. Probably the lasagna. Good. They probably have 32 varieties of, of ice cream. I mean, not ice cream. <laughs> of lasagna, like move over ice cream. There's probably all kinds of lasagna. Okay, go ahead. And for an almost perfect score, and almost. to get yourself an A, one, not the, one of this Garfield's favorite foods is squirrel soup. That's James A. Garfield. The president yes. used to like squirrels. Of course. Back in the day, they shot him up. <laughs> is that your final answer? <laughs> That's my final answer. That is correct. Oh, is thank Garfield. goodness. Other I mean, foods the president loved were homemade breads, mashed potatoes, parsnips, and cold milk. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> so, and squirrel right. soup happened to be one of them. So I what know. is Garfield the cat's favorite food? It, well, lasagna or pizza, but lasagna it, seems or pizza. That, it seems as if lasagna is kind of probably been the, the, the driving yeah. factor. Janae, yeah. I am blown away by your knowledge. You did so well. Because I tried to be as tricky as I could, and you saw straight you through did. it. You did. Really, you did really good. Not only did you know a lot about Garfield, you knew enough about President Garfield to make some educated guesses. Yeah. So you know both the history of the United States and the history of Garfield. So... We are going to present you, or Chris is going to present you with the mystery oh, envelope. Oh, man. You go ahead and open that up. Oh, oh. It's not sealed very well, so it should be pretty easy to get awesome. into. Awesome. I am so excited. I'm excited to see what you got here. All right. This clearly isn't an official document. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm shredding it. <laughs> Hold on here. You guys should have given me, like, a little letter opener. Oh. <gasps> I peeked. 
No oh, way. Oh, way. Look at that. Sweet. You get a certificate that you are truly a true Gar- Garfield fan. fan. Number one. <laughs> so that's James Garfield and right, Garfield Right, right, right. Awesome. That so is you are a fan so of both then. You are a number one fan of that both. That is so sweet. Yeah. How awesome is that? Chris, I love what you d- deal Thanks, with guys. it, Shades, <laughs> on the president. It was like deal with it, Shades. Yeah. So, so I need you sure. to frame that, put it up in your home, and take a picture the and send it back to us. The man squirrel soup. Yes, <laughs> there you go. You'll that's forever awesome. walk away with that knowledge. This will be the greatest Thanks, conversation starter you'll ever have. For sure. Well, I'm so glad you were on. Thank you. Now, in contrast to the podcast where we're picking on you for your nerdiness. What does it feel like to be in your wheelhouse? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> is that a lot better for you? Yeah, Will you come back you. now? Thank you. All is yes. forgiven? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we are so glad that you decided to come in and be on the show, Thank and we are you. glad that you decided to watch this video. That's Everybody fun. loves Garfield, and now you know might know a little bit more about Garfield the President. Yeah. If you like these videos and like what we're doing, subscribe and ring the bell, and you will be notified when we make new videos. Comment if you thought, like, if did you get any right? What was your score? Let us know. We make these films for you guys. We really want to know your input and feedback. We really, okay. you know, let us know what you think. Yeah. And Janae, so we say thanks for watching. And what else do we say? Um, oh, yes, yes. May the force be with you. <laughs>